welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video and welcome back to another TBR bingo video. Today we're going to be picking my books for the month of May. Um, I am going to go through how I did last month um, and tell you guys what uh, I did and didn't read. However, I will not be taking any punishments for the month of April. I'm still in a slump. I'm still working through it. So I just want to pick some books, have a nice list of things to choose from and kind of go from there. But this video is going to be a little bit different because I will not be picking my books. I have a special guest that's going to pick them for me. So, we have Mel! <laughs> Mel is here. We are hanging out for the next couple of days. We went to Y'all West. If you want to see that video, feel free to check it up. Check it up? Feel free to check it up, <laughs> check it up in the cards above. <laughs> but um, she's going to pick all my books today. So, uh, let me go ahead and go through what I read last month and then we'll get into that. This is editing Kaylani popping in to put a quick disclaimer in this video mel and i were watching back the footage of this video and we were laughing so hard because it looks like i am side-eyeing the hell out of mel but i swear it's just one the angle two my resting bitch face and three the amount of exhaustion that we were feeling during the time of filming we filmed this really late after y'all west which we were so exhausted but we needed to get it done so i promise i'm not trying to kill mel or plot her murder I swear, no mouths were hurt in the making of this video. <laughs> I just don't know how to school my face when I have no energy. So please enjoy that and laugh at how many times I give Mel the evil side eye. <laughs> so this is the stack of books that I was supposed to read last month. For uh, my self-destruct book, I picked The Last Namsara by Kristen Cicerelli and I did not get to this. Then for a fantasy book, as it was also my TBR jar pick, was Year of the Reaper by... Makaya Lucifer, and I did not get to this either. Then for Element on the cover, I picked Tea Dragon Festival by Kay O'Neill. Unfortunately, I did not get to this one as well. For FOMO, I picked Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas, and I did read this. For Contemporary, I picked Electric Idol by Katie Robert, and I did read this. Then for 22 and 22, I picked The Play by Elle Kennedy, and I did read this. I also had a secret TBR pick, and for that, I picked Zodiac Academy by Caroline Peckham and Susan Valenti, and I did not get to that one. I started it, got about halfway through, but didn't finish it. Then for Big Book, I picked Colty by Mariana Zapata, and I did read this. And then finally, for standalone, I picked Under One Roof by Allie Hazelwood, which is technically not a standalone. It's a collection of contemporary novels that go together. But anyways, I did read that. Okay, like I said, I'm not taking any punishments this month. I'm just going to do my seven spins. I'm not going to roll the dice either. I picked seven because I read six books last month, and I think that maybe I can do one more, or Mel challenged me to do one more. Um, and so I'm going to pick those. Mel's going to pick them, and then we'll discuss them as we go. Uh, I'm also not going to be doing my TBR jar pool for this month, uh, just because I'm, I don't want to commit to it if I'm not going to read it. And if I do get a heart on any of the back of the cards, I will go ahead and add that into gameplay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into spin number one. Okay, let's go ahead and do spin number one. Okay, I-20. I-20 is on the board, so I'll replace that one there. And I-20 is a 2022 release, so... Mel's got her work cut out for her there. Okay, so for this, I picked Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan because I love me a good retelling and these spray edges just, oh, they won me over. So this is what she will be reading for her 2022 release. Um, I'm excited. I'm apprehensive to read this one because I've heard some mixed reviews, but hopefully I love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, spin at number two. Got two of them. O69. O69 is also on the board. Oh, thank the Lord. And for 69, we got graphic novel or manga. For this, I selected Laura Olympus Volume 1. This is a Hades and Persephone retelling, and I know I just recently ordered this, so buddy me. Oh, heck yeah, let's do it. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to read this one for a while. Alrighty, spin number three. Another one. N33. All right, 33 is also on the board. Holy moly, what a month. And for 33, wow, it's Seasonathon, which means that I can either pick a past prompt, a past uh, Seasonathon author, group book, some, uh, something like that. So um, that's what this is. Let's see what Mel's going to pick. And I have a feeling I already know what it is. <laughs> Under the Whispering Door by TJ Clune. It was sitting right next to me and I was just staring at it. Plus, this is one that could also work for Buzzwordathon because Under... Right, that doesn't work. She's so also, smart. Also, this can work for uh, TBR Knockout because it has green on the cover. Wow, way to go, Mel. She's good at this. Thank you. Okay, spin number four. Again, two of them. Oh, 061. It's on the board. Shut up. What the heck? That's 
never happened to me before. Okay, <laughs> 61 is also on the board. Wow, I'm like so shook. Okay, um, 61 is an author I have read from before, but it also has a shiny pink heart, which means that I have one less spin this month, which honestly, I'm okay with. One less spin, which means we're doing six instead of seven. <laughs> Let's do it. For this, I've selected Across the Green Grass Fields by Shawnee McGuire, because obviously you've read by them before, because this is the next one in the series you need to read. Uh, this also works for TBR Knockout for my birthday one, reading a book between five to seven pages, I mean, five to seven words in the title. This one has five words in the title, so. I am excited for this because I really need to read book seven. It also works for Bookopolathon because it's a short read. Yeah, we're winning. <laughs> okay, spin number five. B3, is it on the board? No. Oh my God, we could have kept the streak going. <laughs> okay, spin number three was Spicy Book, but it also has a pink star. So that means I'm doing five spins, which means that's my last spin of the month, which you know what? I am not mad about. So let's see if Mel can pick me a spicy read. <laughs> that is the most interesting star I've ever seen. It's a heart. I'm I'm like, you star. said star? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me find a spicy book. <laughs> okay, so I have been told that this book is spicy and it is the third book in a trilogy. So she will be done when she finishes this. That is Harmony by Laura... Thalassa? Thalassa. Dark Harmony. So there we go. That is your last book. That was fast. Should that I do was... another one? Yes. These are funsies? Yes. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, my next little bonus spin. I'm not doing punishments anyway, so it's fine. I get it. I'm done with today. Let's just leave. <laughs> In 32... It's not, it's not on the board. Boo, we could have had a bingo. Okay, so we got a 2020 release, but there's also a black heart on here, which means a punishment, which means I actually do have to do one more spin. So it was meant to be seven. It was just meant to be. So let's see if Mel can find a 2020 release. For 2020, I selected Layla by Colleen Hoover because I know she loves some Colleen Hoover. So. I do. I'm being so nice. Again, this was on a past TBR that I did not read, so hopefully this is redemption for me. <laughs> okay, what is hopefully our very last spin? Let's not, uh, let's not do any more. Spin number seven. I-21. 21 is unfortunately a nonfiction, so Mel's gonna have to pick a nonfiction, which, oh man, I do not want this one at all. <laughs> okay, so for this one, um, I happen to find an author that I personally have loved one of their books, and um, it's weird <laughs> and it's very morbid, but it was so entertaining. Uh, the book I'm referring to is Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs, uh, but the book that she has is Smoke Gets in Your Eyes and Other Lessons from the Crematory by Caitlin Dowdy. I've heard really, really good things about this book. A friend of mine that worked at the bookstore was reading this and was like raving about it, so I'm really excited to give it a go. I'm actually, of all the nonfictions, this is probably one that I was most excited to read, so. I didn't even know about this one, and I, I need to own it myself. <laughs> and hopefully maybe... If you read it, then we can talk about it, because I've heard it's weird. I mean, the other one was really weird, but I loved it. I gave it five stars. Okay, maybe I need to read that one, because I don't have a cat, but maybe somebody else's cat will eat my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a lot about a lot more than just that. That's like one tiny little thing in it. I love it. All right, that's my final book on my TBR. Not what I was expecting for this TBR, but interested nonetheless. Okay, so this is my TBR for the month. Um, I am interested, hopeful. Hopefully, maybe one of these books will finally and definitely get me out of my slump because I'm it's it's clinging on. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see how I do. Again, I probably won't do punishments next month. Sorry if that is not very exciting, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, but let me put this down because I don't want to hold them anymore. But that was a TBR. Let me know if you have read any of those books and what you thought of them. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much to Mel for picking my books. I was, it was such a blast and we knew we wanted to film something. So I'm glad that she was able to come and do this with me. It's been so fun to have her here. I will leave all of Mel's information down in the description box below along with TBR Knockout if you have not seen that video. She referred to it several times and it's just so much fun. Definitely a fun way to clear off your TBR. So I will leave that down below as well. But um, feel free to let me know anything that you would like to see me do in the future. Hopefully I'll be back full time very, very soon. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Hello, friends.
friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video and welcome back to another TBR bing what am I trying to say? TBR bingo. <sighs> what is going on with this piece of hair? <laughs> it's like deciding it doesn't want to live like my little If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to like and sub what's my outro? Like and subscribe. That's not my outro. I don't know, but it's <laughs> like and subscribe her channel because she's awesome. Like and subscribe. Is that my outro? Yes. <laughs> Doing it, I need to pull up one of your videos. Don't forget to. That's the sound right. And be simply. No, I don't say that. Okay. Fabulous. No. Fabulously yourself. That's Clint. Clint. Okay, wait. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, if you have any, subscribe to. I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it. I don't know what it is. I swear I do not know what it is. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big up. Oh my god. I'm never gonna get through this. It's never gonna end. We need to do that. Cut. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Take five.